Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're looking at the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Dinoscape Rod Attack Cantosaurus. So let's get started. So this is the Cantosaurus from the last wave of the Rod Attacks. I mean the last wave from the last year of the Dinoscape line that also contains the repaint of Allosaurus. Ceratosaurus and also Metrocanthosaurus if I'm not wrong and this is the piece from the Camp Cretaceous as it appears in this season 4 I guess and also appears in season 5 if I'm not wrong so here is the piece from the Camp Cretaceous so let's have a look at the packaging before we get this figure out so as you can see comes in this cool Dinoscape Camp Cretaceous kind of packaging this standard packaging look at there's a tower right here there we are Dinoscape Rod attack showing the action feature three steps of this rider button here we have some characters Ben, Sammy and Blue then escape and this is the back of the box as you can see here we have a little preview of the action feature and there's the other in the line the Ceratosaurus and the Allosaurus both repaints I mean I can understand that many repaints in the Dinoscape line because it was the Dominion was postponing so that's why they had to like fill the line of the Dinoscape so that's why there were a lot of lot of repaints so I can understand that but this year I mean the Dominion line we have a lot of cool a lot of cool species and a lot of cool scopes so that's cover up all the stuff they made last year and also this the the next reveals from the Dino Trackers, I guess, the next year line are also wheels, so they are looking absolutely amazing. So here we have the packaging. So enough about the packaging. Let's get this figure out, so then we can talk about it. So as you can see here, we have some quick assembling to do. The tail comes separately, and also the spikes. That is super amazing. So let's have a look at the tail first. So as you can see, you have just to put that into place. And just click in there it's one time assembling so there you go pretty cool and right here we have spikes so let's see I guess this one goes right here maybe okay maybe it's like okay okay it's a little tough to do okay there you go that's the clicking sound I want Oh, the tail just fell off. Okay, we can fix that later on. So let's have a look at the... Okay, so there we have. So that's why I didn't hear the clicking sound. So as you can see... I mean, maybe... Yeah, it's fixed right now. <laughs> okay, so here we have the Cantosaurus fully assembled. And as you can see, it looks pretty amazing. So let's have a close look at this figure. So as you can see, starting off with the face, we got that cool eye, if you get the focus, one sec, there you go. So here we have a cool yellowish kind of eye, with that brown pupil, I mean that's just the base color, they don't really paint the pupil on this one. The beak is actually painted, I guess, yeah, in much darker brown color. So, I mean, it looks okay. It's, I mean, it's resemble a lot of to the Stegosaurus. I mean, it's a Stegosaurus, so Cantosaurus. We have a lot of cool Stegosaurus in the line, like Chialangosaurus, the the new Miragaya, and also, obviously, the Stegosaurus. And we have also Cantosaurus right here, which is amazing, a lot of cool species. So, as you can see, the face is pretty amazing. Very cool details right here. Very cool, like, scales and stuff. A lot of cool, I mean spikes, pretty amazing. As far as the accuracy goes, I mean they nailed the skirt. I mean it's from the camp quotation, but it is one of the I guess it's very also uh, scientifically accurate. So that's a plus. So as you can see, we have a lot of cool like details, all of these scale ridges, all of cool muscle definition, pretty amazing. As you can see, we have we have these spikes, two spikes painted pretty well. And also the plates, I mean, uh, what do you call it, I don't know. Here we have some spikes, the signature spikes and plates of the Cantosaurus. And running down to the tail, it's pretty plain the tail. We have nothing bad on the tail. The spikes aren't painted, I mean, just looks, I mean, it looks like they were painting and 
they accidentally put that in the box but I know they did like that with a lot of figures but that's okay so here we have this yellowish kind of color that runs to the middle body and stops right here and then we have nothing that's okay here we have a huge huge speaker box for the roars and as you can see a lot of cool details a lot of ridges a lot of cool muscle definition running around all of the body sculpt is pretty okay i really love that i mean it's so it's pretty okay i mean we have the species cantosaurus and pretty accurate sculpt and also it's from the cam cretaceous so it's amazing i love that so as you can see another look at the face pretty good a lot of cool details running through the body pretty amazing as far as the sculpt goes here we have the scan code so if you want to scan so we have nothing it's really i mean we have this yellowish kind of color other than that nothing on the bottom and this brown kind of color we have like uh, the lighter brown kind of color for the main body and that turns into this dark brown kind of color that also runs on the spikes and also the plates and we have a lot of cool like like this kind of color right here but on each desktops right here and nothing else on the tail which is kind of like strange looking i mean it looks like they pretty much stopped right here that doesn't even like uh, go shading or something it just stops right here literally other than that it's a cool looking figure once again the paint jump is a bit lacking but other than that it's a very good looking figure so let's have a look at the articulation so for the articulation you basically got articulation in the in the legs so they can go pretty much all around your the front legs are on the hinge so they can also come out so go pretty much i mean right here the spikes are stopping them from rotating so you can go basically that far and also the back legs i mean the standard articulation there's nothing more like going on so the tail does move side to side which is cool it's on the board right i guess yeah that's amazing and also the neck we have neck articulation which is very cool on the ball joint I guess yeah you can also rotate oh that's pretty cool so and also on the board joint, so you can go up and down side to side pretty cool very cool and the body is actually tied to the action feature which I'm gonna show in a minute so that's enough about the articulation so let's move on to the action feature so for the action feature we basically have this button right here the slider button like all the other water tags so you basically have three stages i mean three points so you can get three rods and three movements so if you press one time it goes side the other time once more and the third one goes pure round so let's have a look once more so if we like do one time goes like there second time right there and the third time moves right there let me show once again because it's not really working on the on the table so i have to show like that so if you see one time two time and third time it's literally spikes right here so you have like a literally all the body moves so it's pretty cool i mean you can get in a lot of cool poses I mean look at that that looks good so that's the action feature there's nothing else I mean let's have a look at the raw once again they're pretty good okay so there you go one two and three there you go so you can basically put some other dinosaurs right here so you can strike them like that and that's pretty good that looks pretty pretty amazing so there we have the raw attack Cam Cretaceous, Cantosus, I mean it's a great looking figure, we have cool scrub, a lot of cool details, the action feature is amazing, but again the paint job literally like stops right here, other than that it's a cool looking figure, definitely one of my favorite from the Dino Escape and love this figure, so that's all about the Cantosus. So there we have the Cam Cretaceous, Water Attack, Cantosus, I mean it's a great looking figure. 
it looks amazing very skin accurate to the cam cretaceous periods from the cam cretaceous and also a lot of cool details the scrub is amazing it's a cool species too but other than that i mean we have like this strange looking paint jump that stops right here but other than that it's a cool looking figure obviously one of my favorite from the dinoscape so that's enough about the canter source so there are a lot of cool reviews coming this week so make sure you stay tuned and that's all so see you soon in the next video bye